Alrighty, thank you all for joining us. This is the Employer Spotlight series with the Center for Career Development Academic Exploration. I am Kurtisha Riley. I'm one of the career coaches here in the office. And I'm joined with Bradley Austin from Shaw Industries. And so if you haven't ever tuned into how our um, this session works or this Q&A works, what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit um, for about, I would say, 20 to 25 minutes. And I have some great questions for Bradley that she's going to share, you know, her answers to about her role, about opportunities at Shaw, um, and any other pieces of information she wants us to know. Feel free to leave comments or questions you might have. I'll do my best to make sure I check the chat and see if there's anything that comes up. But you can also watch this video later since we'll be saving the recording. With that being said, I want to kick us right off. And Bradley, why don't you tell us a little bit about you, your role, and about Shaw itself? Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. This is my first like Facebook live stream besides my um, wedding, which happened during COVID. So I'm <laughs> oh, well, congratulations. Yes, no, you got my name right. Oh, that's so good. So good. Um, Yes, so I am Bradley Austin. I am the college recruiter at Shaw and focus specifically um, on our co-op and internship programs. So I do fall under um, talent acquisition, uh, recruiting, and then more specifically early careers. So early careers is co-ops, interns. Um, it can be our entry level um, you know, development programs, which we have on our supply chain side, as well as engineering. So I have been with Shaw about two and a half years, which is kind of crazy. Um, I started off as an intern in sales and marketing in 2018. I had been out of school for about four years, just trying to figure out what I wanted to do and ended up starting that internship in May. And I did that for about three or so months. And then I moved to a different group and kind of helped with a big project um, for the organization to create a more formal onboarding process for all of our full-time associates all across the United States, which is really, it was really cool to work on. And then from there, I know this is a little bit of a long story, but um, I, oh. <laughs> I interviewed for a full-time role um, towards the end of that year and was able to take the opportunity in recruiting and I became Kind of the support uh, for the recruiting group more of the candidate experience kind of role and then three months after that i moved into this role and i've been in it since um last may so about a year and a, and a half almost so just kind of a little bit about my journey and just how shawl has invested in me and the opportunities for growth and development so i always love sharing a little piece um, of my story so thank you yeah. So I am a little familiar with Shaw, but our viewers may not have any knowledge of it. Um, so give us a little background, a little context. What is Shaw? What does Shaw do? And what are ways that, you know, a little bit about kind of the development of the company and then where you're primarily, primarily located? Yes. Perfect. So Shawl is a worldwide leading floor covering provider. So we manufacture anything from carpet, tile, stone, laminate, sports surf, pretty much anything you can walk on, um, we do make it or, or bring it in. Um, our organization is around getting close to 24,000 associates, so fairly large. Uh, we are a Fortune 500 company, subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway, if you're familiar with, with Warren Buffett. Um, and then our headquarters are located in Dalton, Georgia, so that's about an hour and a half north of Atlanta, about 30 minutes below Chattanooga, Tennessee, kind of in the in the mountains. Um, and I think, you know, what's really great about Shaw is, is the culture and just how focused um, we are on our people, our people's families, our community. Um, so that's really what, what drew me in and has kept me uh, this far. That answer all your questions. <laughs> yeah, and actually, you kind of segued us into um, a question about like culture and climate in the company. So, if you could or had anything else to add, or 
um, kind of give us on that, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so like I said, very, very human centric, a really genuine place to work, very family oriented and um, a, a really big emphasis on uh, making sure that everyone has a seat at the table, that everyone's opinions, values, perspectives are heard. So we do have a group that um, does focus on all of those things I just mentioned, and it's our corporate diversity and inclusion group. And so within that group, we have, um, they're basically the umbrella for smaller groups, which are called associate resource groups, or you might hear them called ARGs. And so they're specific to groups within Shawl. Um, so for example, we have one called WIN, which is Women's Innovation Network. But you don't have to be a female to join the group. Um, plenty of males join the group, but it's really just to kind of hear that perspective and maybe hear from females that are in leadership roles and maybe um, males' perspectives on that. And so really we get to talk about topics that maybe we don't talk about very often. And so there's panels and round robin sessions. Um, this month is kind of our diversity um, and group excuse me, our diversity group is, is leading this month, this diversity month at Shawl. And so um, we get to participate in different events. So one of our groups, Conexion, which is our um, Latino and Hispanic group, they did like a cooking with Joe night and learned how to make ceviche. So that was really cool. And then last week I attended one with Spectrum, um, which is our black and multicultural group. And we talked about Chadwick, um, I believe it's Chadwick um, Bosman. Yeah, Bosman and, um, and his impact and legacy that he left behind and just his story. So there's lots of opportunities, especially this month going on at Shaw that I wanted to, to mention. Um, but we have around, I believe we have six or more of those groups. Um, so we have ones targeted to veterans. We have um, one's targeted for LGBTQ plus um, women. So there's there's lots of ways to get involved at Shawl, um, and those are just a few um, a few starters. So yeah, thank you for sharing that, Bradley. It sounds like Shaw not only values or kind of you know invests maybe mission or time or effort into the just like various aspects of diversity, but really looking at ways to engage associates and make sure that, you know, as the company is working to be more inclusive that the associates are, are brought along with that process too. Yes, yes. And I, I think it's really important, especially from my early career side to have our students that, you know, are co-oping and interning with us involved in these opportunities and able to attend these sessions. And we had a, a session a couple of weeks ago that they, got to attend and, and we heard from all of the different resource groups. And then we talked about topics and presented it to a group. So that was really interesting um, to, to kind of hear those perspectives, but we love to, to get our students um, engaged as soon as, as they join. Yes, that brings me to a question about, you know, what are opportunities for students? So whether that's internships or like part-time or full-time jobs, whatever it may be. Talk to us about what opportunity as a student or maybe a recent grad that mm -hmm. would be available at all. Yeah, it's a great question. So um, right now we are actively recruiting for our spring 2021 co-op and intern semester, as well as our supply chain development program and operations management training program which is a full-time opportunity. So I'll kind of go back to the co-op and intern. We are um, looking to start that class early or kind of mid-January through April. And so co-ops, it's geared towards more, you know, engineering, technology students, um, or they have opportunities to rotate for additional semesters um, between school and shawl to really get that hands-on experience. So. Um, you know, engineering and technology is more co-op based. And then our in, uh, interns is our more supply chain 
uh, focused and also, you know, marketing, human resources, legal, compensation. So we combine all the groups together for, you know, trainings and leadership development opportunities. We do a lot together as a group, but then project-based, obviously you would be working more um, with your specific team. So, um, you know, sometimes it's, it's confusing to, you know, get hung up on co-op versus intern, but we are actively looking for both. And, you know, we understand students can't always commit to three rotations. They could commit to one and that's totally fine. Um, but both programs are, are very similar and very connected. And then for our full-time opportunities, we have our supply chain development program, which that launched in February. So super exciting. It's a two-year rotational program where you rotate through four out of six areas of our integrated supply chain. And basically you pick your top four positions similar to sorority matching. You kind of list your top four and then hopefully no one else lists the same top four and you'll, you'll get your, your, um, your spots. And then while you're kind of going through that, working in a, in a full-time role for six months, then you'll um, also do 14 weeks of leadership development training, meeting leaders from across the organization, um, you know, focusing on, on different types of skills and tools and softwares. And then our operations management trainee program, which is also full-time, they'll go through the 14 weeks of training as well with the supply chain group. And then, you know, during that, they'll be working more project um, based, similar to the co-op, um, while also interviewing for a, say, process or project engineering type of role. So that's kind of the operation supply chains out of the house. We do have opportunities um, in sales as well. We have a really great sales internship program during the summer and then sales um, trainee program after graduation, really great um, group of folks. And in the summer, we have plenty of internship opportunities from sales to marketing, to compensation, to legal, um, accounting, finance, sometimes risk management. And um, in January, we're looking to also bring on um, human resource interns. So I think that's a really neat area of, of opportunity um, for Shaw, and so we're very excited about that. I know that's a lot of information. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good information, especially I think a lot of students and, you know, eventual graduates are really concerned with kind of the state of the economy right now and, you know, dealing with the pandemic, wondering if there are opportunities that are out there. So it sounds like, at least with Shaw, there are a few areas to get engaged with and you know, definitely really good opportunities to learn more mm -hmm. about various aspects of the company and not just a particular path or area. Right, exactly. And, and, you know, we really want to convey the message to students that we do see the value in these programs in our early career space and um, just reassure them that we were, you know, still able to bring on folks during a pandemic. We brought on 35 or so students um, in June. So we pushed it back to, to mid-June and then we brought on around 45 um, end of August. So we definitely are pushing those programs forward. We definitely see the value um, and are looking forward to, to 2021. Yeah, that was awesome. You kind of mentioned um, some of the academic background that you all are looking for, like engineering, supply chain, you know, maybe psychology, when you think about human resources and those internship opportunities. Can you speak to any of the other either criteria or ways that a student can be competitive or, you know, the, the skills and ability you all look for in a student or in a full-time employee? Yeah, absolutely. So just some quick requirements for the program. Um, obviously, uh, GPA, we require a 2.5 or above. And then for our co-ops, we do require that you have at least three or more semesters under your belt. 
um, before you, you know, sign up for that uh, co-op. But in terms of, you know, setting yourself apart and, and that competitive advantage, I, I really think you'll hear a lot from leaders at Shaw and I've heard it during my time here is um, to be curious, to come in with lots of questions and, and not be afraid to ask them, not be afraid to challenge um, your leaders, to challenge us, uh, to maybe think a little bit differently. Um, the average associate has been at Shaw for 20 years, which is kind of crazy. So as you imagine, a lot of things are done because they've always been done that way. And so we want to bring in new talent that um, asks, well, why do we do it this way? Can't we think about doing it that way? You know, things like that. So I think the curiosity piece is really big. And then um, our vice president of supply chain always reminds us to never stop learning. And so we have a lot of those um, resources and tools at Shaw where you're able to teach yourself, for example, how to code or just some, learn a new skill, you know, while you're in these internships or co-ops. So we're really big on on LinkedIn learning, um, but I, I think just being curious and um, being able to communicate effectively is obviously important. You'll be communicating with various groups across the organization, um, initiating action, being proactive with projects, and um, really, again, just using your voice and, and not being afraid um, to share your thoughts or opinions. Yeah, I love that you shared all of those in the piece of like continuing to be curious and learning. Um, you talked about LinkedIn learning, which not so shameless, shameless plug. As a UT student, you have access to LinkedIn learning for free. Mm -hmm. So if you did not know that, make sure you check out OIT's website and use that tool. It like obviously makes you um, more competitive and gives you kind of an edge on, you know, getting into programs like the one Shaw, Shaw has. So there you go. So my little plug for the day. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So why specifically UT? You know, Shaw has recruited with us at least, at least as long as I've been at the university. So what is it about balls that you all are really drawn to? It? Yeah, I love that. So, you know, ever since I've been in this space, I just kind of remember my first meeting with UT and just how sweet and kind they were coming into our conference room. And I really had no idea what I was, you know, I was so new, um, but just, all, you know, very willing to help go above and beyond to make sure that we were provided with the resources that we needed, that we were connected with, you know, organizations and groups and, um, you know, faculty to talk to about these, you know, opportunities that we have and how we can partner better together, things like that. But I love coming to, to Tennessee, to Knoxville. I mean, I'm coming, I'm like, they have one in-person event and I'm coming because I just really enjoy the culture there. Um, the students are always really great to chat with, um, always having really great questions and definitely relatable. Um, so I think, you know, just the relationships that I've built. Uh, Cole is one of my little pals and um, he's within the supply chain. And so he does, um, we do quarterly kind of catch up calls just to see how things are going and, and just a great re resource. There's tons of other um, great folks as well, but they just always make you feel welcome and at home. And um, it's just, it's just fun to be there. Bradley, any advice for students as they search for opportunities or really think about their next steps while we deal with COVID and kind of what's the fallout? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I think um, one of the biggest pieces of advice I could give is, and we focus a lot on this at Shaw, and it's been something I've had to work on for many years before I even came to Shaw. Um, but I would just say um, adapt and change. You'll probably hear that a lot, but right now, especially um, just learning how to navigate these uncertain times while staying positive and staying resilient and not giving up because your internship was canceled or this event that you've had planned for two years had to be postponed or anything like that. I would just say to really push forward um, be okay with the change and really learn to 
embrace it as hard as it can be, because I promise you um, on the other side, there's going to be a lot of opportunity and um, just learnings along the way that you can take with you through the rest of, of your life. And it, it stinks right now, trust me, I know. Um, but I've just really had to rely on, on your people to get you through certain times and um, just don't, don't give up. Don't ever um, lose the, the, you know, curiosity piece again. Don't ever lose that. Um, I think if you're interested in Shaw, definitely check out our website, shawinc.jobs. Uh, all of our opportunities are posted there. I'm always a resource for you guys. Um, I'm on LinkedIn, so if you want to follow me or I guess however that works. Um, connect. You can connect. You connect. Sorry, you don't follow. You connect with me um, on LinkedIn, and I'm, I'm happy to help um, guide you where I can. But again, just um, everybody just stay positive and just remember that this is an opportunity um, to, to grow and develop. And you're going to take so many new skills with you just by experiencing this this craziness in today's world. And I've had lots of interviews and conversations and people that have just really made the most um, of of what's happening. And they didn't just wait around for something to fall in their lap. They took initiative and went and got that job somewhere else. They didn't even think about, you know, in the first place. So um, just stay positive and resilient and just learn to really um, embrace embrace the change. I think those are great words for us to end on. Adapt, embrace change, stay curious. Um, and so I really want to thank you, Bradley, for chatting today and um, for the great information you shared with us about Shaw and the opportunities there. Um, you gave us some great information in terms of like your contact information. And so with your permission, I'll go ahead and post that um, on the video as well. But that brings us to the end of our time. Um, if you enjoyed this conversation today and you want to check out any of our other employer spotlights, they are recorded and they're housed on our YouTube channel. Just search for UCK Career Center for Career Development and Academic Exploration and you'll find us. Um, as well as you can check out any of the videos on our Facebook page that you're viewing right now. So thank you, Bradley, again. And thank you, Shaw Industries, for this great conversation today. Yes, thank you so much. Y'all take care and stay safe.